this week's episode of the Fire Tech Roundup. I hope you're ready for the latest and greatest tech news within the industry. Let's go. Number one, let's kick things off with the biggest news of the week, which of course is the announcement that ECS has been acquired by none other than the digital product engineering services company I've always known as Global Logic. Similar in motivations and values, as well as a people-centric culture, this acquisition has seen two complementary firms join together to deepen their knowledge, expand their talent pool, and extend their global reach. This has so far seen Global Logics advance its European and financial services footprint, as well as add a host of cloud-centric offerings to its portfolio. Described as a game changer for ECS, this has granted us access to a broader set of competencies and global scale so we can address a wider range of client opportunities. You can read more about the acquisition in the official press release. Number two, in other merger and acquisition news, Salesforce is said to be in talks to buy Slack in what could be one of the biggest software transactions to date. Salesforce has been among the big winners of the coronavirus pandemic due to a surge in cloud software spending, but suffered a 3% drop in shares after news around the potential buy came to light. In contrast, Slack fell behind after failing to catch the work from home wave and yet has experienced a 22% increase in their shares after the Wall Street Journal first reported that the two companies were in talks. This has since seen the company's market value grow to above $20 billion. An official announcement is said to be made next week, but you can discover more about the rumors by clicking on the second link below. Number three, in the wake of its blockbuster IPO, cloud data warehouse services vendor Snowflake is growing its data cloud offering with the Snowpark feature, a set of new services and capabilities to improve developer experience, unstructured data support and security. Now, over the course of 2020, the company has been adding capabilities to its data cloud platform that aim to make it easier for users to connect and use more sources of data. And we have absolutely no doubt that they will continue to do so in the new year. Snowflake has certainly piqued our interest over at ECS. Have they piqued yours? Let us know in the comments and check out more on Snowflake by using the third link below. Number four, whilst the move towards cashless transactions has been a trend for some time, COVID-19 has accelerated digital transactions, exposing consumers and businesses to new variations of crime. With the rise in digital buying comes more digital payments, which is directly linked to the threat of online fraud and potential cybersecurity risks. Although data theft at the point of the transaction is difficult, cybercriminals may instead look to access databases that contain credit or debit card information. Scammers are also capitalizing on the fear and concern surrounding COVID-19, changing up tactics to abuse human vulnerabilities. In fact, an Interpol report found that more than 900,000 spam messages, 700 malware attacks and 48,000 malicious domains were discovered in the first four months of 2020 alone, all of them mentioning coronavirus. You can read more about the impact of coronavirus on cybersecurity threats by clicking on the fourth link below. Number five, it's no secret, digital transformation is a people's game. And what we mean by that is to achieve effective change, you must first make sure your entire organization supports the initiatives that will move your organization forward. Take for instance, a rowing boat. You stand a better chance of making it to the other side of the lake if one of your team isn't rowing in the opposite direction. You get the point. In a recent blog by Enterprises Project, the concept of digital transformation taken a village was explored. Whilst the village sounds like an exaggeration, it accurately depicts the magnitude of people needed to gain all the perspectives, collaboration, talents, and buy-in you'll need to proceed and succeed with your change plans. Have a read and consider how the outlined roles can help accelerate a smooth and successful digital transformation for you. And that's it. That's all the news we have today. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Friday Tech Roundup. Thank you also to everyone who joined us for last night's DevOps Playground. We hear it was a real hit. So thank you for supporting Richie and the team by joining us on YouTube Live. Talking about YouTube, we also have our next Ask Me Anything session scheduled in for next Friday, and that will be on the rise of the Omni customer. So if you're interested in your CX strategy or how you can help improve the experience for your customers, please jump on and ask our experts any question you'd like within that field. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I look forward to catching up with you next Friday with another dose of tech news. Take care.